let's see what this is. Very excited. Unboxing. And it's definitely a guitar. Oh. Let's see how that works. Like so. Like so. And one over here. box in a box. So, oops, I already touched it. Disinfect my hands because the outer one has been touched by all sorts of people. Who knows? Better safe than sorry. With surgical precision. Let's see what's what bad boy is in here. Very sturdy indeed. So it's not like a regular heat bag or anything. It's more like a, a soft case with ample protection. Alright. Let's do this. So, I really like this case. It seems extremely sturdy. Let's see what we have here. Our battery pack and the... For the sound hole. Oh, that's excellent to minimize feedback, I reckon. It's just like my Hofner Jessica Custom. And then the owner's manual, some one Allen key, meat, anything else? No, that's it. Well, that's uh, really nice. All right, now the big reveal. Smooth going. Yamaha here. Nice little logo. Let's open this sensually. Alright, let's take our first peek. Here we go. Ooh, wow. That is lovely. Perfectly book matched. No color variation because I really don't like it when one half is brighter or darker than the other. The case looks marvelous, I have to say. I'm very impressed by that case. Um, so, we have a European spruce top. Solid, of course. Um, then we have um, an ebony fingerboard. 24 frets, which is magnificent. And then the headstock is really nice too, with, let's see if we can focus on that, anything, mm. ebony 
tuna packs. Yeah, I think now it's inside. So then we have, and it's a gloss finish. I'm very happy about that. Also the back, I hope. Yes, that is wonderful because I've sworn to myself never to get a satin finished guitar again because they scratch and dent and gloss up anyway. So they offer very little protection and a lot of headaches. So I'm really happy about that. So this is solid walnut as the back and sides with mahogany binding and black and white as well. Yeah, as you can see here. Then the Rosetta is with Paduk. I don't know how to say it. It's uh, a tree species. I think mahogany as well and abalone inlays. That's a beautiful Rosetta. And then the bridge here I believe is ebony. Looks like it. So it appears to be absolutely gorgeous and I like that stripe here. That's a mahogany stripe in the middle. Is it focused at all? Yeah, no. I think so. I will have to play this bad boy. The only thing set in on this guitar is the mahogany neck. I wish it had a walnut neck actually because I don't see a reason for mahogany on guitars at all. I wish there was no, uh, there were no tropical woods used. But let's take a look at the pouch here. What do we have? Oops. Ah, okay, the straps for the guitar case, which I'm in love with. So I'll be back soon and do some sound tests and maybe a song or so. So I'm very pleased with the way it looks. Let's find out how it sounds. All right, that's Alienadin signing off. Oh, and by the way, this is the Yamaha NTX5 NT in natural finish, made in Japan. As you can see down there, no, you can't. It's too dark right now. Wait, well, let's. Let's see, there you go. Now maybe you can. And very excited about this one. Beautiful spruce top, all solid woods, ebony fingerboard, uh, 1700 euros is a very fair price for a made in Japan guitar that is all solid has 24 frets, a sound hole cover, um, and the Atmos feel. So I'm really looking forward to trying that. Uh -huh. That's interesting. I guess it's supposed to be like this. A little odd. It's kind of loose. I think it would be more like this, but it doesn't really matter, does it? All right, so See you soon, stay tuned, subscribe for more, hit the notification button, all the best, cheerio.